on this installment of The Man Who Ate Las Vegas. I'm going to fly into Las Vegas, get my rental car, and check into my resort at Aria. I'm going to get some sushi at Catch and have a burger at Gordon Ramsay Burger. I'm going to stop into the Palazzo and have steak and eggs at the Grand Lux Cafe. Shopping, people watching, and having a great time in Las Vegas. So if you're a foodie and you enjoy Las Vegas-related content, you might enjoy this episode. And if you do, hit like and subscribe. Let's get to it. There's a lot left to eat. It's an early travel day for me because I'm heading to Las Vegas. I always take the early flight when I go to Vegas. I just feel like I get more out of my trip when I get there early. As soon as you get off the plane, you're going to get bombarded with the slot machines and the retail stops and the people and more people. 44 million people come to Las Vegas every single year. Some for work, some for pleasure. Every type of food, gambling, art, entertainment, something for everyone. I usually try to run a car when I come to Las Vegas, so as soon as I get to the main terminal, I head straight to the bus that takes me to my rental car. That way I can stop off strip to get food or drinks or any other thing that I may want to take back to my room. And those things are going in a Hemi Challenger. Look out. The Las Vegas Strip, 4.2 miles of endless casinos and mega resorts. There's always something new or something changing on the Las Vegas Strip. Maybe that's why I've been coming here for over 20 years. What's new for me this time? Well, I'm gonna stay at Aria, at Las Vegas City Center. Aria is part of the MGM network of hotels. So if you're an M Life member, which is free by the way, you can get some really great rewards, including free rooms, which is exactly what I did. For my early check-in, they did charge me a fee, and that was in addition to the resort fees that most Las Vegas resorts have. The staff was very accommodating, though, and they got me to my room by about 10 a.m. And when I open my door, this is what I see. What an entrance. Way to go, Aria. All right, bad news first. For some reason, there was no safe in my room, and when I'm in Las Vegas, I want a safe in my room. But that being said, my room was clean, it was comfortable, it had two queen beds, it had a very large bathroom with a shower and a soaking tub. There was a huge double vanity with a private glass-enclosed water closet. It's a great place on the 35th floor to kick back and relax and get ready to flip the script. Because in Las Vegas, day is night, and night is day. Well, now that I'm all rested up, I came back downstairs, and right here in the lobby at Aria, there's a great seafood restaurant called Catch. They have this very Instagram-worthy hallway leading into the restaurant that you really just kind of have to see for yourself to believe. I didn't have a reservation, but I was by myself this trip, so I got to just sit at the bar. Catch is known as a go-to dining destination for celebrities from New York to Los Angeles. Maybe it's their epic renditions of Asian-inspired sushi, seafood, and shrimp. I got a couple of rolls. One of them was a specialty roll that they were just offering at the time, and the other was the aptly named Catch Roll. The catch roll has a delicious honey miso glaze and it's topped with sesame seeds and a jalapeno slice. It's one of the best rolls I've ever had in Las Vegas and it'll set you back 23 bucks. For two rolls and a cocktail, I was out the door for $65 with tip. That's not too bad on a Sunday night for the man who ate Las Vegas. If gaming's your thing, you're in luck at Aria. The poker room has No Limit Hold'em, Texas Stud, and a lot of other great games. The slots go from a penny to 5,000 bucks a spin. Right off the casino floor, you can get a grass-fed burger from Burger Lounge. Or try your hand at some gourmet Mexican food from Javier's. Now that I got my sushi fix, I think I'm going to take a walk. And it's a beautiful night here at City Center in Las Vegas. Let's see what we can find to eat. 
In city center Las Vegas, you'll find the Waldorf Astoria, Aria, Vidara, and the Veer Towers. The Veer Towers are a residential development and very unique buildings. City Center also includes the shops at Crystals, and we'll get a closer look at these shops here in just a little bit. There's a lot of shopping in Las Vegas, and most of the larger resorts have a pretty impressive retail section. In this, and in upcoming episodes, we're going to take advantage of a lot of these shopping opportunities in Las Vegas. On the property where the famed Aladdin once stood is Planet Hollywood. There's a lot of dining options here, but the one that's standing out to me is Gordon Ramsay Burger. And unless you're living under a rock, you probably know who Gordon Ramsay is. This celebrity chef has six Las Vegas restaurants, including Hell's Kitchen, Pub and Grill, Steak, Fish and Chips, Ramsay's Kitchen, and Burger. I ate here a few years ago and had a fantastic meal, including a very, very tasty appetizer. It's a street corn dip. It has a low taste style corn, Fresno peppers, jalapeno peppers, cotilla cheese, Parmesan cheese, cilantro, and lime. Served with house-made seasoned corn chips. It's $15.99. For my burger, I chose the Stout Burger. It has a Guinness mustard aioli, Gruyere cheese, onion strings, on a fresh sesame seed roll. You can substitute the burger for a grilled chicken patty at no additional charge, or for a vegan burger for $7. This burger was $17.99. Try some of the other burgers. They have a Hell's Kitchen burger, a blue cheese burger. They even have a Viva Vegan burger. Are you willing to gamble on that? I definitely needed to walk off that meal from Gordon Ramsay Burger. The strip seemed lonely and quiet, and I found myself in Paris. Well, sort of. And everywhere I looked, I was reminded of all the great food there was to eat in Paris. Romantic celebrations at the Eiffel Tower restaurant, or a classical French meal at Chateau. I could carve into a thick steak at Hex, or enjoy a champagne brunch at Mon Ami Gabi, and sit on the patio overlooking the Las Vegas Strip. And you'll want to make a reservation for any of these. But all this talk about food is making me hungry again. But I think I might just get a cocktail and play some blackjack or slots. There is a Gordon Ramsay steak right off the casino floor, and I think I definitely want to eat a steak. I heard about a steak, but it wasn't that steak. The steak I heard about was at the Palazzo, at the Grand Lux Cafe. I had heard that the Grand Lux Cafe had a steak and eggs that would not break the bank. Turns out, it was true. For about 33 bucks, I got three eggs, hash browns, toast, and a steak cooked to perfection. I walked away from this meal feeling like a real Las Vegas winner. Steak and eggs at the Palazzo for 33 bucks? Not bad for the cafe named Grand Lux and the man who ate Las Vegas. On the way back to my resort, I took the time to do some people watching, which is probably my second favorite thing to do in Las Vegas. And on this night, I saw the comical, the tragic, and the downright bizarre. The Shops at Crystals is one of Las Vegas's premier shopping destinations. Anchored by more than 15 flagship stores with brands like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Dolce & Gabbana, Prada, Tom Ford, Hermes, Fendi, and Tiffany & Company. It's a collection of 50 of the finest luxury brands in the world, all under one roof. The unique architecture, the convenient Las Vegas Strip location, and the exclusive luxury retailer lineup makes the shops at Crystals a must-see for any Las Vegas visitor, especially for the shoppers.
At the awe-inspiring heart of the shops at Crystal's is a -a one-of-a-kind feature that stands three stories in height. It's called the Treehouse. The upper level offers a unique space for Maestro's Ocean Club's main dining room. Joining M Life's Players Club is a smart thing to do. Earn rewards for your stay, slots, table games, dining, and then redeem those points and do it all over again. Beautiful. Perks aren't just for players, so enjoy those exclusive benefits and make each stay the very best stay. M Life. Aria has arguably one of the most tech-savvy room experiences of any resort on the Las Vegas Strip. The tablet allows you to control many features of the room, including the drapery, the lighting, and the air conditioning. You can make a room service order. Oh, a room service order. That sounds good. Let's check this out. Current wait time, 40 minutes. Let's see what we got. Soups, salads, sandwiches. Maybe I'll just go downstairs. After all, Aria has one of the best patisseries outside of France. All the foods you crave are handcrafted daily with the freshest ingredients available. Perfectly brewed hot coffee, wholesome sandwiches and salads, fresh squeezed juices, gelato, chocolates, baked goods, Open 24 hours for your pleasure, and you can carry it back to your room. I'm talking turkey, thick cut bacon, golden tomatoes, cheese, avocado. I think this is a wrap for the man who ate Las Vegas.